JCL News, working for you. Well, love was in the air today, at least for 100 couples who renewed their vows in downtown Savannah. WJCL's Brandon Lavornia talked with a couple at St. John the Baptist Cathedral this afternoon. Brandon, tell me all about it. How you was know, it? I was hoping you would sing that line. Kevin Holmes would have it. I considered it, but I figured I'd get in trouble. And you got a voice. Yeah. Kevin Holmes, not so much, but never stops him. You know, <laughs> the cathedral was packed with couples celebrating their 25th and 50th wedding anniversary. Here's one story. For 50 years, John Chaluda has held his wife Margie's hand. They met 52 years ago. When John began his new job, Margie was one of the first people he met that day. I was in human resource, so I had to sign him up. So I immediately, it was love at first sight for me. Soon after, John took Margie to the movies. She knew that I was uh, Catholic and Slovak, as she is. And then we got stuck in the parking lot because the Austin Healy wouldn't start. And the policeman was knocking on our, it wasn't a window, there was a side screen, and he said, you can't stay here. The policeman helped push John's car, not knowing he would be sending the new couple off on quite a journey. A year later, Margie went to the Bahamas with a friend. When she came back to the Cleveland Hopkins airport, John was waiting. But when I got back, he proposed. At the airport. <laughs> yes. right. Five children and ten grandchildren later, the Chalutas find themselves here at St. John the Baptist Cathedral in Savannah along with more than 90 other couples renewing their vows. Congratulations. Yes, it's really heartwarming to see how many um, 50 years and 25 year um, marriages are still around. And their secret to a long marriage? Humor. We, we laugh a lot and kid around a lot and we enjoy our children immensely. Yeah. Now, the Office of Life of the Catholic Diocese of Savannah sponsors the renewals. Today, I saw all those couples and everyone have a giant smile on their face. In the studio, I'm Brandon Lavornia for WJCL News, working for you.